A little birdie told me that apparently Kibber has had a buff. And for any of you OG Tarkov players know that Kibber used to be so good for making money in this game. It was absolutely stacked with loot. Thermal sights, tier 5 and tier 6 body armor, suppresses out the wazoo. You could make a killing from this room. But it hasn't been doing very well over the last couple of years. It's been nerfed multiple times. But because I heard that it has been buffed, and after checking the flea market and seeing that the keys in total only cost 200,000 rubles, 100,000 a piece. Well, I thought surely I must be able to make some money from this because you also get 40 uses per key. So you know what we had to do in the channel fashion. We are going to hit Kiba 10 times in a row to see if it is worth the money you pay for those keys and whether you can make a serious profit from this mysterious buff if it actually has been buffed on. As for most of you guys as well, you will know exactly how I'll do this, but for the people who don't, what I will do is I will enter the room, collect everything that is worth of value, and then I will calculate how much things are worth based off the price what I can get from the flea market. And if it can't be sold in the flea market, then it's the value of the price that I can barter trade for it from the dealers. But that's enough said, and let's get straight into the video. Now for the first hit on Kipper, we're starting off strong, and you might be wondering why the alarm's going off. By the way, if you want the turn that off so you can enter the room without it you'll have to go to one of the security rooms not here to do that and i'll explain how to do that a little bit later but for now we get this we get a load of nice suppressors two ak's one modded one unmodded and then we also get a mp7 and an mpx as well what was suppressed too so a really good hit on the first one no body armor stuff like that coming to 468,000 rubles and you may be thinking already 468,000 rubles you've made that already so you're telling me you've also made the money back on the first use of the key and doubled it at the same time. Yes. So you might be thinking, why would I continue to watch the video? You've already proved that this key is definitely worth hitting. Well, there's a couple of reasons why it's not so great. One reason I'm going to explain to you right now, and then one even a little bit later. But the one for right now is Killer. He has now changed spawns. At the first part of this wipe, he did only spawn upstairs, but now he spawns back downstairs again outside Brutal. So he is defending Kibber again. I can tell you there was a handful of times that I got killed by him just trying to hit this room. So before you even having to deal with the other players on the map, you have deal with probably the most annoying scab boss to kill because there's about 50-50% chance whether he's going to bum rush you, slide cancel in the face and then dome you straight in the head like he did me. Later. It's fucking killer! <laughs> I, what? I didn't, wasn't sure. Or you might get lucky and get stuck in run animation and you can just gun him down. But anyway, on to the next room. After picking up a few odds and sods in this room, we come across a nice juicy kitted AK-105 with four times suppressor, backstock, 60 rounder, everything. And then we get a load of other suppressors, a couple of other guns, an MP5 to go along with that as well. And then the creme de la creme, best of the best we got from that is two cold packs. Yeah, baby. <coughs> but oh no, seriously. We actually made 429,000 from this room. Again, another good pool. Next up, room number three. This one's not looking so great. The only thing really noteworthy we found in here was the holographic thermal site and then a load of suppressors and sites to go along with it. Meaning we only actually managed to clear 273,000 rubles from this. Still paying back on that key though. I got mugged off by this room because I went to turn the alarm off by the control room, but then the alarm went off anyway. But I ended up having to clear out this quickly. So we got through here and actually pulled up quite a decent amount with a load of different gun attachments were expensive, helmets, contacts, and a couple of guns to go along with it. We made 417,000 rubles in this one. Now we just have to get out of this one alive, because that alarm draws a lot of attention. All right, Scav. Captain Tank. Out. Captain Tank over there. <coughs> yeah, fuck you, bitch. Luckily got one down, but now we've got to deal with the other player who's coming from behind. At the stuff, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it.
GG. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that guy. Oh, he's there. Green sim for the win. Green sim saved my life, literally. That, uh, when, when people say to me they do not have an injector case on them, like that, that right there, that right there, lifesaver. No green stim, done, mate. Stop, 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 stop. That guy. Somehow we managed to survive that all purely because of the green steam in my injector case. Thank God I had that in there. We waddle out the gear that we got from Kipper and from the other guy and we reset to go back in again. Yeah, whatever. AK, AK. It looks custom AKs. Whoa, AK with a thermal? Uh... Wait. We've got a reap. That won't go in here, will it? You can't put that in there. No, you can't. Yeah, baby, that's a reap by R. Uh, the main thing that we were coming here for, I knew this is the most valuable thing that you can get out of this room. And not only that, we got enough uh, custom AK with the 4X suppressor as well with the 60 rounder, plus a load of other great attachments to go along with that too. That room made us 1.127 oh million rubles in one hit. If this doesn't show you that this room is worth it, I don't know what will. And you can bet your ass that I fucking waddled my ass out of that raid as fast as possible to claim this loot. And the next couple of rooms after this were also really good. They seem to love the custom AK suppressors and sights. This seems to be what we get the most of. This next one was 567,000 off that one. Really great hit. And the next one as well was also not too bad also. A little bit less than this one, coming in at 435,000. Again, another good hit considering the price of the key. And now we get into the back end of these hits. I'll tell you another reason why this room is a pain in the ass to hear. We covered that killer was the first reason. The second reason is going to be the fact that you need to turn the power on to even have this come on. So 50% of the time when you spawn in, you run to Kibber, you won't be able to get in there because somebody at the power station decided not to turn the power on. So you have to run to the other side of the map, then come back to the center again just to be able to get into the shop. Then on top of that, to actually be able to hit it without getting killed while you were inside of it, you need to turn the alarm off. And to turn the alarm off, you need to go to the CCTV room, what's located in the computer rooms, between Ollie and the supermarket. So you have to do all these other steps before you can actually hit the room. And I can tell you a couple of times where I managed to die just in the process of going backwards and forwards and doing these. But now that you know how to get in there and what it takes to be able to get into the Kibber room, we'll move on to the last three hits. This being hit number eight, we got a pretty good run on this one with a load of unmodded AVK 47s. We had some suppressors, helmets, that kind of stuff. And the creme de creme of this one is going to be the MP7. We got a kit in one of these with suppressor grip and big mag as well. Coming in at 400. 11,000 rubles. This next room is the unmodded AK room. We got four unmodded AKs in this one. It looked like it was going to be a bad one, but we got redeemed by a couple of really good attachments that sell for a bit of money. This one coming in at 457,000 rubles. And last but not least, the final room, we end up getting a nice custom modded AK again with the 60 round of sight and the works. Added on top of that with a load of suppressors again, sights, even body armor in this one as well. And then to finish it off with some night vision, this one clearing 515,000 rubles. Not a bad room again. So there we have it. We've done all 10 hits on Kibber, and I must admit, I was very surprised about how good it was. But not only just good, but consistent. We made pretty much the same amount of money each time, if not more, on the other occasions. In total, out of the 10 hits we got from that key, we made 5,099,000 rubles. What is insane, if you think about it, when the key only costs 100,000 rubles a piece for both, and you get 40 uses. This is only 10 uses of this key. So realistically, on average, you could make up to 20 million rubles just from these keys alone. These are probably one of the best value keys that you can get right now, especially in comparison to the Mark Room videos that I've done in the past and have not made anywhere near this amount. But again, if you do divide that by 10 to see what we averagely got per hit, it was 509,000. But that does make sense because that's really 
realistically what we were getting from each one, apart from the one up with the thermal soap, what you can get. So the question we all came here for in the first place, is it worth getting? 100% yes. Is it hard to hit? Yes, indeed. Like I said, not only have you got to worry about killer going crazy on you, but you've also got to make sure that the power's on and have the alarm off to even be able to hit it in the first place. And there's no guarantee that you get it out of there alive because of the insane amount of extract campers on interchange. But I must admit, I did use the secret extract quite a lot underneath them all by using the key card, but also only cost about 100,000 rubles. So I would definitely see that's worth buying as well. And thank you very much everyone for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe for more Tarkle content from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.